Okay, so welcome to the second tutorial on parabolas. Now we're going to start graphing them. We're going to graph a parabola from standard form. Since there are two standard forms, we're going to look at each one of them individually. The first one will be the vertical parabola. And you'll notice in the vertical parabola that the x term is the one that's squared. The x term is squared. You'll notice that only one term is squared. That's what forces this conic section to be a parabola. There's only one squared here. And since it's the x that's being squared, we're talking about a function. And therefore, it's one of the vertical ones, one that opens upward or possibly one that opens downward. Okay? There is a big relationship to understand between all the pieces of our parabola. Okay? So we have our vertex. That's usually the first point that we're going to find. We know that the distance from the vertex to the focus is exactly a units. And since that's exactly a units, we now know that the distance from the vertex to the directrix is exactly a units, because the vertex, vertex is exactly halfway between the focus and the directrix. When we're talking about our points of symmetry, our points of symmetry are here in line with the focus and the distance between the focus and each point of symmetry is exactly 2a units. So this is the re important relationship to understand uh, among, uh, between everything in the, the parabola. So we've got a units away from the focus to the vertex. We've got a units away from the vertex to the directrix. And from the focus to each point of symmetry, it's exactly two a units. Now you might be asking yourself, well, where the heck is a coming from? Well, a is right here in our standard form. Four times a will always be this coefficient that's been pulled out of this quantity. So obviously we just divide by four and we'll have what a is and then we can um, plot all of our points over here in our directrix okay so let's talk about all the pieces the vertex is usually the first thing we're going to find and the vertex of a parabola is from standard form will be h k h always coming from the x quantity k always coming from the y quantity and again it's that opposite idea so watch out for your signs okay the axis of symmetry The axis of symmetry is a line. It's a dotted line that cuts the parabola exactly in half. In this case, it's a vertical line, as you see, and it's the vertical line that goes right through the vertex. So therefore, it will be x equals whatever the value of h is. Our focus is always going to be an ordered pair, and we'll just count that out once we have our vertex and the value of a. So that'll be an ordered pair. The directrix is another line. And in this case, for the vertical parabolas, the directrix is a horizontal line. So therefore, we know it's going to be y equals some number. And that number is going to be the, the value you know, below the uh, vertex in this case, a units below. We have our points of symmetry. And our points of symmetry are also, like the focus, ordered pairs. So we'll find both of them. We'll count out the distance from the focus, and we'll plot them, and then we'll just count them out on a graph. Those are the two ordered pairs for the um, points of symmetry. And lastly, there is the lattice rectum. <laughs> All righty. The lattice rectum is the distance from one point of symmetry to the other point of symmetry. It's, a, it's the distance of this segment. And you can see that the distance of this segment is this 2a plus this 2a, so therefore it's 4a. And it will always be a positive distance. So I'm going to go ahead and put it in uh, absolute values to, make, to, to force it to be positive. And you can see that that number actually will always be in your uh, standard form. Sometimes it'll be positive, sometimes it'll be negative. Understand that lattice rectum is a distance that will always be positive, so we'll take the positive value of that. So this is a relationship in terms of all variables. Let's look at one with specific numbers. The first thing I'm noting about this conic section is that I only see one thing that's being squared, so therefore it's a parabola, and since it's the x term that's being squared, this is a vertical parabola. So the first thing I'd like to find 
is the vertex. The vertex is HK. H coming from this X quantity is a 3. K coming from this Y quantity is a 2, so 3, 2. I'm going to plot that. 1, 2, 3, 2. So there's my vertex. The next thing I'm going to find is my axis of symmetry. Um, axis. I'll just call it axis is fine. I know that it's uh, a vertical axis of symmetry, and since I already know the vertex, the, the x coordinate, I know that it's just going to be x equals 3. If you'd like to dot it in, that's cool. There it is. Next, I'm going to find the focus. I'll just do capital F for focus. I know that that's an ordered pair, and I know that that's exactly A units away from my vertex. First, I need to find what A is. So I'm going to go back to my standard form, and I know that 4A is equal to 8. Therefore, 1A is equal to 2. Since that's positive, I know that I'm going up 2 units to get to my focus. And if we count that out, that's 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4. So 3, 4 is the ordered pair for my focus. Next, I'm looking for my directrix. So I'll call that DIR, perhaps. I know that this is the equation of a line. I know that since I went up two units to get to the focus, I'm going to go down two units to get a point on my directrix. I'm going to dot it in. There's my directrix. The equation of this line is actually the equation of the x-axis, which is y equals 0. It's a horizontal line. Now let's go to our points of symmetry. I'll just say POS for points of symmetry. I know there are two of them. And I also know that since I know A units up to the focus, I'm going 2A units to the left and to the right. So since A is 2, 2A, of course, is equal to 4. So when I get to the focus, I'm going to count 1, 2, 3, 4 units to the right, 1, 2, 3, 4 units to the left, and those are my two points of symmetry, counting from the origin, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 7, 4 is the first one, or is one of them, and then negative 1, 4, is the other one. We now have all three points that we'll need to sketch a graph of this parabola. We have the two points of symmetry and the, and the uh, vertex, excuse me. So I'm going to just connect them in a nice smooth curve, trying to keep it as symmetric as possible, and put little arrowheads on each side. There's our parabola, going right through our two points of symmetry, and of course starting at our vertex. So there's our picture. We do have one more thing we want to find, and that is the lattice rectum. <laughs> the lattice rectum, of course, is the distance between the points of symmetry, and you can either just count it out, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, or you can just simply realize that it's going to be this number, at least the absolute value of this number, from our equation. So the lattice rectum is 8 units long. Let's now look at the standard form for a horizontal parabola. You'll notice this time our y quantity is the term that's being squared. Our y term is squared. That's what's going to make this be a horizontal parabola. When you have y being squared, you cannot have a function. And therefore, it has to be the one that either opens to the right or opens to the left. It cannot be a function when y is being squared. So here's our standard form. Um, it's the same exact relationship as before. Once we find our vertex, the distance between the vertex and the focus is exactly a units. The distance between the vertex and the directrix is exactly a units. Once we get to the focus, the distance between the focus and one of the points of symmetry is exactly 2a units, and the distance from the, oops, from the focus to the other point of symmetry is exactly 2a units. So it's the exact same relationship in terms of a and 2a, except that we're going sideways right and left. So when we're talking about our vertex, we're still talking about hk. Now, please be careful. The h will always be coming from the x quantity, which is now over here in our standard form, and k will come from the y quantity, which is now over here. So please watch out for that. The axis of symmetry is this time going to be, if you want to dot it in, that's cool. This time, it's going to be a horizontal line that cuts the parabola exactly in half. So that will be a y equals. And since it cuts it exactly in half right through the vertex, it's going to be whatever y equals k 
whatever k is, y equals k will be our axis of symmetry. Okay, so we've got our focus. A focus is going to be an ordered pair. We can count that out once we know what A is and where the vertex is. The directrix is going to be the equation of a line. And in this type of parabola, the equation of this line is a vertical equation, x equals something. We'll find that out when we plot it. We've got our points of symmetry. And that will also be, like before, two ordered pairs. So we'll find those. And then finally, our lattice rectum. <laughs> which just like before is exactly 4a units which we find in our equation and it will always be a positive so I put it in absolute value let's look at one in detail that has numbers in it the first thing I'm noticing about this parabola this conic section is that there's only one term that's being squared so it has to be a parabola all three of the other conic sections are um, have both variables squared. This one is a horizontal one. My brain sees that the y is being squared, and when y is squared, we cannot have a function, so therefore it's got to be one that opens sideways, so I know it's horizontal. Yay. Okay, let's go find the vertex. We have to be careful with the vertex here. H is now coming from this quantity, which is 4. K is coming from this quantity, which is 1. So 4, 1. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1. There it is. Let's now find the axis of symmetry. The axis of symmetry is, since we're going sideways, is the line that cuts right through our vertex horizontally. So it's y equals 1. Again, it's always going to be the number that k is. So there's y equals 1. Let's find our focus. Our focus is an ordered pair. We do need to know how far apart we are from the vertex, so we need to know what a is. So I'm going to come to my equation, and I know that 4a is equal to 12, so therefore 1a is equal to 3. That's pretty simple math. And since a is positive, I'm counting in the positive direction, 1, 2, 3. If a were negative, I'd be going the opposite way. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1 is where our focus is. Okay, now let's find our directrix. You don't always have to go in this order. This is just how I like to do it. Since the focus is three units to the right of the vertex, the directrix is going to be one, two, three units to the left. There's a point on it. I'm going to dot it in. Here's my directrix. It is the equation of a vertical line, x equals, and in this case, it's x equals 1. Let's find my points of symmetry. I'll just label those as POS. There's two of them. The points of symmetry, once I'm at my focus, I count 2A units away from that, in this case, up and down. So I do need to know that 2A is 6. So I'm going to count 6 units. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 units up. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 units down. So let's count those out. I'm starting at the origin. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7, 7 is one of my points of symmetry. And then 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, negative 5 is the other one. Since I have all three of the dots that I need, I can go ahead and do a nice sketch of this parabola. You'll get better with practice, making it a nice curve. Make sure you go through the correct points. And there we go. Kind of looks like that uh, flashlight application I was showing on the previous tutorial. One last thing, and that's to find the lattice rectum. <laughs> OK. And that is simply the number that's right up here, and it will always be the positive value of that. So that's 12. Or you can just count it out, and it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, because it's the distance between those two points of symmetry. Thank you for watching this tutorial on how to graph our parabolas from standard form.